What's up everybody? We are in Path of Titans and we have got a brand new update for Path of Titans. We're just going to go ahead and join UK, whatever the hell I just joined, but we have Stego in the game. Stego has literally just joined the game and it's just been added to the game literally about what? 20 minutes ago and I'm here to cover it. Who needs Kentro now? We don't need Kentro. Go away. Go away Kentro. We have Stego now. Finally we have a brand new dinosaur in the game. Where is the Stego? Where are you? There we are. There he is. We have got Stego now. Oh my god it's been. We've been waiting for this. We were pranked last time and then I made a video saying is Dasplito next? But no. Matt's like ha. This guy's gonna be wrong. I'm gonna make sure he's wrong and then he's dropped to Stego out of nowhere. God damn it, I was so wrong. Guys, I apologize for being so wrong in that video, but you know, who doesn't love a good Path of Titans theory every now and then? So here we go. This is the model for Stegosaurus. We have the male and the female. The female is obviously duller with red plates instead of the blue plates. And then um, the male is obviously a bit more lighter. We have the balance species, which is this one. Looks very nice. Then we have the speed and defense one, which is, uh, well, plus speed minus defense, which is less chunky. And then we have the chunky boy with the circular plates, which look absolutely incredible. It's, it reminds me of Hesperosaurus, which is really cool. So obviously we've got uh, the patterns for the skin and then one of them literally removes that, uh, which is really nice. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead in the balanced one to give you the balanced look of the stats. Um, and let's just let's just get right into this. We've got 12 skins. One of them is a backer skin, which uh, I also have. I don't know why I have this one, but it's hard to see with the colors here, but the colors look very nice. It's obviously the mix of, uh, you know, what you get on the backer skin normally. You know, blacks, whites, oranges, browns, all of that lovely stuff. And it looks like a very nice skin. I like pattern two the most out of the uh, backer skin. Obviously, you've got the standard skin. Then you have the pattern skin, which is greens, whites, and blacks, which is very nice. And of course, the the sail on this dinosaur, the, the spikes, are, have a red tint to them. Um, then we've got Serval, which has got yellowy kind of stuff on the top part, on the uh, spiky bits. And then you've got obviously the dots and all that. Obviously, you've got the different patterns on this one. And it's obviously just, you know, the standard light browns and blacks kind of thing. Then you've got Tail Stripe, which is the one that everyone knows and loves. This one is a beautiful skin, blues and whites, with some white stripes on the spikes or the spines. Uh, I still don't know what the hell. The plates! I say I'm such an idiot. Um, and yeah, that one looks really nice. Then we have the lime skin, which is obviously, I think this one will be a fan favorite just because of how nice these greens look. It just looks really nice along the body here. And uh, yeah, the different uh, patterns of them. And yeah, you've got greens, blacks, you know, yellows as well. Of course, you've got the backer skin. Then you have the brown skin, which is just a dander drab brown skin. I really love the colors here on the plate. The, uh, the whites, the blues, and the browns, they all blend very nicely. The model, I'm pretty sure Jiggy, Done an extremely good job on this, and obviously hats off to the skins and the model itself. Uh, the zebra skin, ooh, I like this skin a lot. This skin looks awesome. I really like the zebra skin. It looks really fancy, and yeah, that's a really nice looking skin. Lined, oh, yeah, I want this skin in my life. This is the skin that I want right now. Please, devs, if you could just give me this skin for free, that'll be nice. Oh, it looks so nice. These patterns are so beautiful. Now, obviously, we've got the albino, uh, which has more purples on it, actually, which is really nice. I like the, the touch of the lilac there, or the purples. And we have the uh, the melanistic, which is a lot hard to see because we're already in a dark uh, match anyways. So let's just go ahead. Let's just go in and play as our Stego. So let's have a look at the animations. This is what we're doing now. We're covering the animations for this big boy. Right, we are here with our Stego, covering animations and sounds. It's a lot darker than I normally is, but... Uh, we're gonna have to make do and mend, you know. So we have the, we've got quite a few here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight animations. Obviously, here's the loud roar. A very beautiful roar, very nice. It reminds me, obviously, same animation set as the Kentra. I'm pretty sure you got the friendly. Oh. Yeah, I like that. I like that. The aggressive. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yeah, this reminds me of when they're in the dinosaur films, when it's taunting and, um, you know, when it's taunting in films and it puts out its tail to threaten the others. That's really nice. I like that. I like that. Why well, the alert. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. And then obviously we have the uh, lower down volume call. 
What? What, what was that? What? I, I can't hear you. I can hear him now. Uh, and then we've got the stretch. This one we saw a preview of. Um, no, this is the wiggle, actually. It's the wiggle, not the stretch. But I like that. I like that a lot. I love how the body moves. Uh, you can see the weight distribution and how the weight really moves around on this animal. And obviously, looking up, getting on his hind legs. I like that. I can't wait for Miragaya to come to the game because Miragaya will do this but with a really long neck. And that's going to be so cool. Now, obviously, you've got the stretch. You know, like a dog, he's being hit in the good spot. Like, oh, yeah, give me those pets. Give me them. Give me all the pets. And that's that. Now, obviously, we've got the sit down animation. Very nice little animation. Then you've got the laying down animation or the sleeping animation. And he just hides his head in the ground like he never existed. Um, <laughs> that's a very nice animation set right there. And, of course, you've got the bite attack. You go and chomp. It's a downwards chomp as well. It's not an upwards one. Okay, so that'll be interesting. That'll only be for small animals, I guess. And then, obviously, you've got the big tail swipe. Very Kentro-esque. This is pretty much what the Kentro is like. But the Kentro's only got two attacks, and they're both tail attacks. So, you'll only be able to... This looks like it will affect both sides. So, you will have to... If someone's attacking you from the um, the right side, you'll have to time it right. So, you know, you hit him when that second swipe comes round. And if someone's attacking you on the left, you can just click it, and it will do it pretty much straight away. Which I think is pretty normal and pretty decent. Obviously, now we're going to test the running. This guy's relatively slow. Um, but I know he's got a lot of stamina. I'm pretty sure this stamina is literally two minutes of stamina, of course. Let's just test out the downward speed as well while we're at it. I think this boy's going to be a big tank. And this is going to be a very fun little dinosaur to play. Or a very big dinosaur to play. This is now the biggest herbivore in the game. I'm pretty sure of. I'm pretty sure Iguanodon is just a little bit smaller than it. Of course, when Bars Boldia comes in... It's going to be very interesting to see how Barsboldia stacks up against Stego. Of course, Barsboldia is a big, chunky dinosaur. And I'm pretty sure it is one of the bigger dinosaurs in Path of Titans. It's definitely the biggest herbivore so far. Unless they were to throw in, you know, the likes of um, Amargosaurus into the mix. Or maybe some other big herbivorous dinosaurs. Like, if Dinocurus classes itself as a herbivore, then we've got a big herbivore on our hands. Uh, in terms of that, because that is also a big chunky boy. Obviously, this guy is he's relatively so, but he gets the job done. Overland migrations should be fine with this dinosaur, Stegosaurus, because Stegosaurus is actually moving quite fast in a way. It's, it's not really that fast, okay? I'm lying there. It's not fast, but the good thing about Stegosaurus is that, well, it's got the stamina, so you'll be able to run for a while and you'll be able to attack while it's running, which is very nice. And yeah, I'm very much excited to see Stego in the game. And I I'm very happy to see this in the game. The devs have obviously outdone themselves here. We've still got a quarter of the stamina left. I wonder if the stamina is going to be a big of a problem for the Stego. Or, or you know, competing against other dinosaurs. Because it can pretty much outstam most carnivores now. That's actually a good idea. Stream. Not stream. YouTube. Viewers. In the comments. Which carnivores have more stam than stego please let me know because we have actually run quite a bit and we've still got a little bit more stamina left to go uh, i'm going to work on an outro in this video now so guys i do hope you enjoyed this video obviously we're still running now but yeah stegosaurus is in the game what do you think about stego i'm so happy to see this in the game this is definitely one that i'm very happy to see in the game i'm glad i was able to cover it as soon as it dropped, pretty much. I, I know I should have covered it earlier. I know someone uh, told me that Stego had been announced. And I totally didn't see it. We're out of stamina now. But yeah, that is the Stego. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. But yeah, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And this was the quick rundown about the Stego. I'll be streaming it tomorrow. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.